Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy, and today I'm going to do you a quick what's in the box kit review of my 172 Supermarine Spitfire Mark I by Heller. Uh, this is obviously a vintage kit, and I've checked uh, my source on uh, scalemates.com. And apparently this cover art was first uh, put into production around about 1980. So we can probably say that this model was produced sometime there in between, I don't know, maybe 1984. So we're looking at a kit that is roughly 40 years old. So anyway, let's cut to the chase. And as per usual, I'm going to read the blurb regarding the history of this particular mark of Spitfire. It's quite short, so stick with me. So here we go, history, Spitfire Mark I. The one-seat fighter of the British Royal Air Force became famous during World War II and took a first place in history. Though the part it took during the battle through, through the part it took during the Battle of Great Britain. This aircraft brought great support in Dunkirk in troop evacuation operations. The Spitfire was one of the most sophisticated fighters at the time due to its high performance and its handiness in operation. It's a <sighs> It evidenced its superiority on the enemy air forces. Characteristics, engine, Rolls-Royce Merlin III, armament, eight Browning 0303 inch machine guns, wingspan 11.2 meters, length 9.07 meters, height 3.46 meters, performance 646 kilometers an hour, and a ceiling of 9,570 meters. So let's just have a quick look at the instructions. And basically we have a kind of a one window with all the um, all the points actually discussed here. So they're obviously, obviously marked from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 27 in steps. So I suppose we can kind of guess from that that we're looking at around about 27 parts. It also gives a uh, diagram of a potential camouflage marking pattern so there's the instructions out of the way in the history let's have a look at what we've got in this 40 year old kit now i was kind of curious as to what this was when i um, originally opened the box and as per a viewer's uh, remark on a, another video i've done on a vintage kit i believe this is actually a small capsule of glue that was provided when they actually bought it now obviously this is 40 years old and i think you can see the glue has firmly set, so obviously we won't be using that. Uh, first up, we have the main body of the fuselage, which as you can see has got some uh, panel lines and rivets. I'm no expert here, but I kind of think these rivets are a little bit big. Don't really know. The rudder is nicely detailed though, and you can actually see where the rudder, the rudder would move. So there's our first piece out of the way. And then we have the wings. These are just done ba very basically and they have the, um, oh, I forget what these are called, the ports here. We're gonna call them the ports now for um, ventilation or something. I forgot, I've, I've totally forgotten. I do these things off the cuff. I haven't really got a script prepared, so. And we can see we've got a lot of detail on the front. I mean, like on the base and the leading edges. Uh, the flaps are quite nicely detailed as well i think they're probably the nicest detailed flaps i've seen on, on most of the models i've actually done and yeah that looks uh, perfectly okay to me there doesn't seem to be anything particularly wrong with it and that's the uh, second sprue we obviously have a uh, cockpit cover uh pretty small nothing much to say about that it's a two-piece one no doubt i will get a uh, gluey fingerprints all over it so we'll have to be careful with that and here we have all the other smaller accessories. So as we can see, we've got a nice little detailed uh, cockpit instrument instrument panel there. We've got the seat and the undercarriage. The undercarriage has some um, fine rivets on it as well. I mean, again, that's I don't think I've seen that very often, so it's kind of nice, I suppose. And these parts of the uh, rudder and tailplane, these look quite nicely uh, detailed as well. So... Compared to some of the other models that I've actually built that are vintage, 
This one actually appears to be quite nice, so I think I'm, I'm going to take my time when I come to build this. Obviously, viewers who are familiar with my channel, I do have a tendency to uh, bish bash bosh these things together. I do have a reason for this, I'm just basically building some models at the moment so I can uh, practice some painting. Uh, we have a single set of decals, these look quite yellowed, so not quite sure how good they're going to look when I actually come to put the model together. But I do have a surplus of decals because I've got around about 40 Spitfires, so we're not really too bothered on that. Um, I think that's about all I've got to say about this one, apart from it's, you know, it looks rather nice. Everything is here, which is good, or well, certainly appears to be. Obviously, this glue is no use, but we'll just have to deal with that when we come to it. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little video on my Hella Mark 1 Spitfire. Uh, as per usual, any questions and suggestions are welcome on this channel. Kind of like engaging with you guys. Please like and subscribe and join me for my model building ride. Be seeing you.